Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to another episode of What a Legend. I hope you guys are ready because I am. All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We got to rescue Lana, right? All right, we got to rescue her. We got this magic spell or potion or whatever sand that we created with Sev in the last video. Now we're going to go in here, rescue Lana, and then, you know, get on our way with rescuing Lady Goldenbush. So. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I see this sheep guy over here. You guys see that? I'm going to click on him real quick. Haha! <laughs> Every time you find a sheep, you find a photo. There. Now let's go talk to Anna. All right, it's time. Wake up, Lana. I brought you something. You found my bottle. Yes, but keep your voice down. Pigs and Wedge are inside, but they'll come out if they hear you shout. And there are other guards around as well. Okay, help me have a sip, will you? Sure, sure, okay. Even better, I'll free you so that you can do it yourself. But first, I'm going to need to see your eye. Uh-oh. No. What are you doing? Give me that back. Calm down, Lana. I just want to... There's something hard in the folds of her eye patch. Oh, look what we have here. Nice. All right. Give it back. If you keep shouting, we'll both get into trouble. And this runestone might fall into the hands of Hammerdick. Neither of us want that. Go near Lady Madeline Jessie so much as speak to her, and I will find you wherever you are and murder you. Chill, Lana. Here, take the rune stone. I know that you don't believe me, but I'm on your side. And I would never do anything that would hurt you or Madeline. She first fixed her healthy eye on the rune stone in her hand, and then on me. What do you want, Jesse? A bit of trust from you. Let me cure your eye and get you out of here. Cure? My eye? What are you talking about, Jesse? I'm talking about this. This pouch contains magical sand that's capable of turning back time. If I pour it on your eye, it will be able to... No. Please. No magic. It'll be alright, Lana. I made I made it myself with the help of the old king. You don't know that, Jesse. Please keep that away if you really want to help me. My eye's broken for good. I went closer and gently caressed her terrified face. I know it is. But it doesn't have to stay broken, Lana. But, listen, Sev is your ancestor, and he's really sad about what Vil did to you. We made the sands of time because we thought having your eye back would make you happier. Now, if you tell me we were wrong, then I'll break you free, and we'll go to the mansion. But if you want to see like you did before, if you wish you had your gift back, and if you feel like seeing your old ghostly friends again one day, then let me give it a try. She closed her eyes for a few seconds, making up her mind, and then she said a single word. Okay. That's the only thing she said before tilting her head back as far as the pillory permitted, looking visibly anxious but determined. It'll be more annoying to have grains of sand in your eye, but please try not to blink or move your head, okay? Oh, and I have to make sure that the sand doesn't touch anything other than your broken eye. She flinched at first as I lowered the pouch and let the grains fall into her eye. But despite the discomfort, she looked at me resolutely and kept her eyes wide open until I was done. Okay, now the words. I want this eye to become as it was before it got shattered. I want this eye to become healthy as it was before Vil destroyed it. The sand disappeared and nothing else happened. Lana rested her eyes a little, and lowering her head, looked at me, her eye still visibly broken. So, how do you feel? Do you notice any improvements in your broken eye? No. It's the same as before. Okay. In the annoying silence of thinking what to do next, a metal door opened in the hallway of the dungeons. You've got to be proud of yourself, Wedge. You played well tonight. 
Perhaps, but I still lost my money, didn't I? It wasn't your fault. We were just unlucky. Oh, fuck, they're coming. Oh, shit, he got some on him. When did that happen? I got the pouch and hastily emptied all its contents on the lock of the pillory. I want this lock to rust and weaken. To age and corrode completely. Oh. There was something in her tone that made me look at her face. The broken pieces of her eye were fading away, gluing to each other, and it was becoming harder to discern that they are once disjoint until her eye looked completely normal. Nice! I... I can see normal. It worked. I can see. Thank goodness. He got some on him. God damn it. So we only need to wait for a little for the spell to work. This means that we should be able to open the pillory too. We have to leave before the guards come out. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You're getting old. What? I looked at my hands and saw them wrinkling in front of my eyes. Fuck, I shouldn't have touched the... The... the Knees and back weak, all my joints were aching with age, and I fell to the ground. At first, I felt nothing. But then, I opened my eyes to a blurry sky and began to hear Lana's desperate shouts from what sounded like miles away. I want to stay the same age I was. Say it aloud, Jesse. Say it. I tried to say it, but it was useless. My tongue and jaw felt too heavy to move to speech. The pillory's lock, too, must have fallen apart because Lana's blurry face appeared above me. Her mouth was moving, but I couldn't hear her voice because I was already deaf. I remember her hand caressing my face lovingly. And then, it was over. I landed in between. And my spirit left me. Lana, help! Um, where am I? Where are my clothes? Great. Fucking great. I was worried about dying in a year, and here I am, dead at 18. And of old age! You're not dead. If you were dead, you wouldn't be in between. A lens flare is talking with me. I'm not a lens flare. I'm your life force. My life force? Yes, for as long as you were healthy and active, I was with you and gave you strength. But because you're going to die, I've been forced out of your body. Floating close to you in between until the process is complete. But can I do anything about it? And hey, will I come back as a ghost? Depends. Do you have an unfinished business? Something so important that leaving it undone wrenches at your heart? Well, I haven't, I haven't finished Serena's quest. And I would like to have gone back to my old town to visit my home at least once more. But, no. I guess I'm overall pretty much at peace. Then it will be the end for you. Well, that's a bummer. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave you either. It saddens me, actually, that it's happening so soon. I, I didn't think it was your time yet. I felt so strong when I was with you, and... Do you feel that? Oh, yeah. It feels like someone's licking my balls. Yes! I'm back! What happened? Almost at once, I felt like I was sinking onto a soft and familiar bed. The window was open, and a pleasant breeze was blowing. The breeze was nothing, though. Compared to Lana. Ugh. You weren't lying. Your life force really does depend on your dick. What, what, hap what happened? I removed the sand from your neck, told you not to age, and brought you here. You looked dead, though. It was scary. But then, I remember what you said about your dick and your life force, and that was my last hope. I'm dizzy. Like I'm going to die. 
I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Looking me straight in the eyes, she put the tip of my tongue inside her mouth. And continued to save my life. Oh, nothing beats being alive, Lana. Thanks for saving my life. Thanks. There are more enjoyable ways of expressing gratitude, you know. I cured your eye and freed you from the pillory, didn't I? As far as I'm concerned, we're quits. But since it's you, I'll make an... Ugh. Are you okay? Lie down. No, I'm fine. Only a bit shaken. Anyway, where were we? Mm, that's better. Oh, love is beautiful. <laughs> he can see all. Oh, wait, he just popped up like, hey, guys. It's a little, little rude. Oh. Yeah, because she can see him now. Lana, this is King Sev Neverenough, your ancestor. Sev, this is Lana Neverenough. Hello, great great granddaughter. She is um uh, speechless. She's just nervous. Of course she is. I shouldn't have barged in through the floor unceremoniously. Please accept my apologies. That's uh, okay. I I knew I still had the ability because of Jesse's eye. It looked like he got it from me. But I didn't dare hope that I would actually Shame on your brother. He has treated you very poorly. I would mete out justice to him myself if I were alive. But Jesse will do that for me later in the future, once he's ready. If he's still alive. As long as I don't have to use time magic. That thing nearly killed me, Sev. I accidentally touched a bit of the sand and became so old that I almost died. Oh, no. By the time I brought him here, he seemed beyond hope. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still really dizzy. But I would have been dead if Lana hadn't acted quickly. You'd feel better if you lied down and get some rest. I will, Lana. Thank you. Ah. Oh, he's crying. Well, oh. It warms my dead heart to see a never enough being so beautiful, intelligent, and kind. Lana went to Sev and patted Sev's ghostly back affectionately. I'm... I'm so happy that you are my ancestor, too, your majesty. Oh, please call me Sev, my dear. Okay, Sev. They used to tell so many stories about you when we were kids. Legends about what a good king you were, and how there was perpetual peace during your reign, and people were happy and prosperous. And now that I've met you, you're even nicer than those legends made you out to be. Oh, that's the sweetest thing a child of mine has ever told me. And you never know, perhaps when I have taught my magical successor how to use his gift, the realm will return to his glory once again. Your magical successor? You can't mean... Me! <laughs> Jesse's a kid, Seb. He has a good heart, but he can't change the world. Jesse has the master gift, the same gift I use to unite the realm and establish the Never Enough Kingdom. Sounds like a lot of work, mind you. I might not even be alive by then. Not alive? What do you mean? According to Sev, my human body can't handle my cock's magic, and so I'm going to drop dead in a year. Bullshit. People don't just drop dead because of having too much magic. There's still time. And we will do everything we can to prevent that fate. Prevent it how? I have to ask the maze about it, so that's where I need to go. But for that, we'll need the help of Madeline. Yes, freeing the last golden bush is of utmost importance, and for many reasons. This is too much. I need to have a drink and process it all. Accompany me to my study, Lana. I will show you the documents that may help you make sense of things. And you must tell me everything that has happened since I left the world. All right. Aren't you coming, Jesse? No, I'm not feeling myself. I think I just need to go to bed. Listen, Jesse. I'll tell Madeline everything and make sure that she helps us with the maze. Actually, if need be, I'll come with you to the maze myself. The point is, you won't die. I won't let that happen. 
You risked your life for my fucking eye, and I'll do everything I can for you. Wow. Thanks, Lana. I know I'll be okay. I've got good friends. Plus, a pair of magical nuts. True, but don't let this master gift stuff get to your head and inflate your ego, okay? Haha. <laughs> I had missed you, Lana. Me too, kiddo. We kissed, but her kiss was different this time. It's hard to describe it, but it had a strange tenderness to it. She caressed my face with her skin and nibbled my lip when I grabbed her ass. I'll be with you to the end, Jesse. Now rest, please. We will rescue Lady Madeline tomorrow. And if all goes well, have a little fun. What do you say? I say, I can't wait. Talking animatedly about the never enough history, they left the room. Ah, it's good to be friends with Lana again. And she's much happier now. Plus, she said she'll come with me to the maze. All we need to do is rescue poor Madeline, who's been in a dungeon cell for far too long. Let's hope the maze can help me, because life is becoming better every day, and I really don't want to die. Huh, my head's spinning. Let's sleep and see if I can recover from the aftershock of the aging sand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it got a little sketchy there, but we came out on top so far. A lot more to go, but uh, you know what? We'll cover uh, more in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, as always. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description if you want to further support the channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.